Hello friends, welcome back to our channel. So in today's session, we'll see how to draw the scatter plots in a matplotlib library. So first, what is meant by a scatter plot? Scatter plot is used to represent a pair of numerical data, one with the x-axis and y-axis. And each representation will be with the help of a dot. Right? So first of all, we have to import the pyplot module from the matplot. So from matplotlib import pyplot and i will give some alias name right and here in order to draw the scatter plot so it is required to take the two parameters that is two arrays one is with the, along with the x-axis another one is along with the y-axis now let us take the values for the x and y so x is equal to you can take the list list of elements okay along with the x-axis the list of elements let us take some values one two three four five six six elements and similarly along with the y-axis you can take a uh, uh, different values like uh, uh, 10 uh, 50 100 80 60 90 so total so these two arrays must be equal right these two list elements should be equal the length must be equal and you need to use the scatter function scatter of x comma y so that it will relate the x with y and the representation will be in the form of dot so i will show you that. so we'll execute this one so you can observe here see one with 10 so you can see one with 10 the representation will be in the form of dot right similarly two with 50 so you can see two with 50 the representation will be in the form of dot three with 100 four with 80 five with some 60 six with some 90 so this is how we can plot the scatter right and now how to represent the color so there is a color called i mean uh, we can also take the colors this is also equal length right so you can take uh, different colors or the uh, same color i will take first i will take the different colors red green blue so you can take uh, in terms of hexadecimal also black brown and orange right and if you you need, just need to give the parameter c is equal to c so c is a color right so you take uh, one more thing color right? so c is equal to so the color so every dot will be represented in different color so you see the first one will represent with red second one represents with the green third one represents with the blue fourth black fifth brown and the sixth orange so like this we can represent in a different colors otherwise simply you just go with this one and use the color attribute so color is equal to so give the color so that everything will be displayed in the same color itself so see black so all the representations all the points will be represented in a single color black so if you go if you are using some color then you need to pass this to the parameter c right so that each representation will be in a different color and the next one is a size so size is equal to you can also represent the size so 10 100 20 30 50 40 so let us take this 60 90 70 so, 6, so here there is a parameter called s is equal to size s so you can see each one represent in a different size the first one with a 10 size second one with a 100 size third one with a 20 size fourth one with a 90 size fifth one 50 and it's a 70 so like this we can represent the different sizes for each and every representation also and also the, there is a one more parameter called alpha so which we have discussed in the previous sessions that it gives the transparency so that will be in between 0 and 1 so i will go with a 0.5 so you can see some sort of transparency is appeared here so if you go with the 1 so see you can you can observe full transparency and if you go with the 1 so that is completely visible so this is the alpha attribute alpha attribute 
and if you want to represent with a different colors so we are having a color map okay so in the previous sessions we have discussed about the color maps so there are a lot of color maps so you just give the color map so i will go with the uh, viridis so this is one color map and you can see c is equal to you take uh, c is equal to color right where it is and also you can observe so there is a different colors different colors and see plt dot uh, color bar so you can observe here see there is a different colors okay so this is a c, c map is used for color map okay if you are not using this c map simply you can go with the c so that individually we will get it so just uh, remove the color bar so that you will get a different colors right so hope you understood this one so coloring each and every dot color the different uh, same color applied for all the dots and the size alpha color map okay you can apply all these three so you have here we have applied all these three things and also we can compare a uh, different plots okay you use the same thing use the same thing once again use the same thing once again and just uh, take the different colors take the different colors see 100 70 10 50 30 20 right I have taken different colors and also uh, you can use the same see different colors and if you want to apply the same thing see color instead of using this one color uh, represent the first plot with a green color and represent the second plot with a different color you can go with the uh, orange right and here you need not go with the individual colors so just i'm putting the comment you can observe here so if i execute the two plots so orange and green so here we can also use the legend right so here use the label label is equal to uh, give some years okay so some 2020 so i'm giving some, some sort of label for this orange for orange representation and similarly i'll give uh, some sort of a representation for this one so i will go with the uh, 2019 so i can get here and we need to apply the legend function so that it will be dis uh, displayed sorry yeah, the spelling was wrong see you'll get this here the legend so green represents 2019 and L orange represents 2020 like this we can also apply the legend function right so we can uh, plot we can compare two different plots also so finally the scatter function will take the x-axis and y-axis and the size we can specify the size for each and every representation and the transparency and the color these colors can be uh, we can apply each color for each representation different colors for each representation and the same color for all the representations and also we can use the c map c map that's a color map so there are a lot of color maps so we can use any one among those color maps to represent the colors for each and every representation and also we can give the labels and we can apply the legend function right and we can compare the two different plots right? so this is how we can draw the scatter plot so everything uh, the remaining is same so plt dot title we can give scatter plot so you can get here and x label and y label are common and also we can specify the x ticks and uh, y ticks and also x limit and y limit all are all are common so we can apply all those functions in this scatter plot also right so hope you understood this one and if you have really enjoyed my session like my session share my session with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to our channel thanks for watching thank you very much